Before we get into the video, please go to ProphotoEdits.com where you can download my Lightroom presets and Photoshop action sets. That way we can edit together. I upload a raw file for you guys on every video, videos every week. And in the description, I have a link to my cell file where I have free videos for you guys. You can just download them and watch them using my action sets to edit portraits. All the images today were shot with the 50mm 1.2 RF on the EOS R. So stick around and I'll show you some of the raw files up close and we'll pixel peep. And I'll show you how I set this shot up with the roses in her hair, how I lit it and how I shot it. And uh, we'll pixel peep some shots. So in today's video, we wanted to have some Valentine's Day fun. So I bought a bunch of fake rose petals, like a thousand. You had to break them apart right off of Amazon. It was like eight bucks. And then I bought the um, the roses with the stems that you can twist around them and uh, manipulate. And those were like 12 bucks. So it's like $20 shoot. Um, I had my makeup artist friend come over and I had Shelly come over and I'll put their links in the description and we shot this just in my studio floor. So as far as equipment rundown in the studio, I just like to keep things really simple. 48 inch parabolic softbox with a grid, that's a Celine's, and an 8600 Godox strobe. And of course I have a ring light on the side to just add a little light so I can focus a little bit better. Lighting's never gonna change in this shoot. I wanted to shoot down a lot so I could make the, the petals look wider and the shots just look longer since I didn't have enough petals to cover the entire floor. So the lighting's like at a 45 degree angle firing down towards her hair just to give a little bit of a shadow underneath her nose. So when I start a session, I go through my bag and see which lens I think will work best for this. And today I chose the 50 millimeter RF 1.2. Um, I used a 35 a little bit, but it was just a little bit too wide um, on the EOS R, of course. And I used the 85 1.2 RF a bit, but I had to get up on a step ladder and um, it really wasn't getting the whole scene captured the way I wanted to. So the images I'm going to show you today are from the 50 millimeter 1.2 RF on the EOS R. So my favorite shot of the day, my absolute favorite, I didn't even shoot wide open. I shot at like 3.5 and I'll run it in a second. Um, because I wanted to capture, you know, everything in focus. We had a great idea to grab the roses and stick them in her hair so we could make like our own, you know, afro of roses. And uh, it turned out pretty excellent. You know, you just kind of look around and see what you have and try to make the most of your shoot. So I'll, um, I'll show you this photo here in a second, but this is how we came up with it and how we orchestrated the whole thing, how we lit it, the lights up from the top again. And, um, I shoot kind of underexposed so I can kind of eliminate hot spots to the best of my ability and I fix them in Lightroom and Photoshop. All right, so here's an image at 51.4. For some reason I put it on 1.4 instead of 1.2. Um, no big, no big deal. Uh, I, I edited this already for you guys in Photoshop. I fixed the skin with my Photoshop skin actions and I brought out the eyes with my eye actions, but that's all in the pack. You can see how soft the the background is though i mean it's only about two or three inches behind her and it's already clear out of focus which is beautiful at 1.4 i'll show you the actual the actual image untouched i mean just with my preset on there this is the crown victoria preset by the way in my pack um as it resolves yeah look that's as big as i can get it with 31 megapixels on the ES eos r um but the eyes are definitely in focus, nice and sharp. Skin is um, not going to give me too much problems to, to work with. Um, let's look at another image, 1.4. Let's go way in here and see. This is with the RF50. Uh, once it resolves, and by the way, these raw files will be down below for you guys, so you can pixel peep and mess with them and just do whatever you want if you're considering buying this lens or the EOS R. Um, just looks very, very excellent. Let's go down the line. I shot this at 1.2 just to get a different perspective and um, zoom in here and see. Once it resolves, yep, it got that eye definitely in focus, 1.2. And you can see how, let's go back in, you can see how shallow the depth of field is. Chin is gone. All this right here is out of focus. And I needed it to be like that just for that shot because, I mean, I didn't want everything to be just shooting from the top down, roses everywhere. She had um, some lingerie, so we did this, but I needed something that was gonna blur back here because I didn't have enough roses to cover the whole thing. And um, I could have used the 85, I guess, but I can fix that in Photoshop. Um, I just wanted to get it as shallow as I could. And I'll show you the out of camera image. Um, cool Canon colors are kind of boring. So I put my Crown Victoria preset on there and um, give it some consistency with the, uh, 
you know, just a nice red and mocha tone. So here's the main image from the set and um, it is at 3.5 I shot this just because I wanted to, you know, show off a little bit more of everything we did. The roses, I wanted them to be in a little bit more in focus, but not so much in focus that it gave it away that they're, they're fake. And I wanted all these roses to be in focus. I didn't want to take any chances on this because we were running out of time and we wanted to nail it. But at 3.5, um, the lens is absolutely stellar sharp if you're into shooting an editorial you know um, stop down a little bit so until next time guys i hope you enjoyed this shoot behind the scenes please like and subscribe i have videos for you every week and click one of the um thumbnails above and you can watch the whole rundown on my whole preset pack and there'll be some stuff in there that'll help you out all right see you later it's marcus